All right, now you've copied your kid's file or your, the individual you work with's file onto your device. Now I'm going to teach you how to get a screenshot. The first thing you'll notice is if you're trying to get a screenshot that you need the first and the second hit or possibly even the mid-sequence, but let's just do, get two for now. If I want to get the sequence for milk, when I hit here, I, I lose my drink so I can't draw the line between the two. So it's a really an easy fix to get this icon on the second page so that you can draw your line and capture it. All you have to do is hover over it and then right click, copy, then click on the button and then click again and paste. And now I'll be able to draw my line. So then, now that I've got this here, it'll be all I have to do now is how to get this screen into paint where I can draw a nice line and it's actually quite easy. You could hit a control G, but another way you can do it is just go up here and See right here, right here where it says screen capture or control G. Either one will get you to the same spot. So now I hit control G or click on that spot. It wants me to name it. And I'm going to name this one milk. And once I say milk, I say save. And that quick, I've got a copy of this saved. Now I, I, what I'm going to do now is because I want to draw that nice line using paint, all I do is right click on this file and then I go where it says open with and I open with paint and so then it takes that image and puts it right into the paint program and here's what I love about paint I can pick my size of my line I can pick my color of my line and of course you don't know how to do any of this you might want to play and I can of course it's already set online so now if I want to get, draw the line between here and here now I have a thick red marker ready to go and I'm just going to now start from the middle. And I'm going to, whoops, that wasn't a nice line, so i got to undo that. There's an undo somewhere. Now let me try a control Z. Good. Uh, there's one somewhere else, but a control Z is what I did. I actually want a straight line, so I'm going to click right here. So I want a straight line. I want a pen. That's it. So now I try that again. And I start here about where the drink starts, and now I get a nice straight line going to milk. I just unclick it now. I'm not very arts and craftsy, so I'm going to get myself a couple of lines. I know you're better at this than I'll be. I barely made it through school. Now I'm going to go up here and grab the circle. And I'm going to, you'll learn how to do this, but I'm going to get it somewhere near here and I'm just going to draw a circle around drink. And again, you'll get better at this. And there actually, I think there's a thicker line I could have used. So I, it would have been better if I used a thicker line. So. I think you can control Z a few times and undo all your work. There. Let's say I wanted to do Coke instead. I'm going to do that one again. Now I made my line thicker. Now I can draw from here. Whoops, I'm still on circle. So if I want to draw my circle first, I could do that. Now I'll click up here where it says line. And now I can draw a nice line leading to the Coke. And again, now I can add my little arrows. Coming in at an angle. And now I've got a nice screenshot for the word Coke. Let me add a couple small steps to this that I think would make it a little better, but you get the idea. But let's do it a couple more times. So now it's simple. You just save this. And I would do save as, and of course I'd make a fo folder that has all your images in it. So I'm just going to get out of here and start over. All right, so let's try this one more time. You've got your, you're back to your child's device and they've customized it in some way. And so you want screenshots from that. Uh, the other thing that's kind of nice is uh, I'm actually in the full version, but you may want to actually go in here. I want to make this thing do more than one thing. This training be too many things, but it might have been nice to actually just have it be in the transition level because it makes the screenshots a little cleaner. So when I hit drink now, I'd have less things uh, for drawing my lines. So we're back to your child's or your individual you work with's device, and you've got that loaded on here from the file we did before. Now you want to make a nice, clean screenshot with nice lines and things you can use for labeling in books and labeling their environment. So let's look here, and when I hit the house, I see the word bathroom shows up here, which would be nice to put on the bathroom door at school and at home. So I need to make a nice screenshot of this plus this. But again, when I hit this, this disappears and I can't make my screenshot. So now I'm going to hover over the house. All the rooms come from this, all the rooms come from this house. And I right click and I copy. 
Oh, you're a little bugger to me today. Vocabulary's got to be off, so I right click on this with vocabulary off and I copy it. I click here and then I paste. And that gets me the ability to now be able to draw my lines. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn Vocabulary Builder back on now that I have done it. And what I think now it's going to let me do is what I wanted to do. So little, I'll go over that in just a second. I'm sorry it confused you or I confused myself even. But with Vocabulary Builder on you can't uh, do this little feature but you can after you if you leave Vocabulary Builder off and then turn it back on, you can actually make your screenshot look clean. Well, we learned something new, even if it confused you, so I apologize. I could reshoot the video, but uh, sometimes things happen for a reason. Let's pretend, uh, let's do this again a couple more times, and I think you'll have it. But back to uh, me wanting to capture this screenshot. Now that I have this nice, clean uh, image of the house where all the rooms are, which I'll have a nice, clean shot of bathroom, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here where it says Tools and I'm going to capture that screen. And then I'm going to name that screen Bathroom. And I'm going to say Save. And now I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say Open With and I'm going to go to Paint. Now that I have it in Paint I'm going to go up here and pick the size of my line, and I want the thickest line I can possibly get. I think I'm on the thickest one. I love the red color, and I'm going to click up here, right here, to get the line. So now I'm going to draw my line between the house, there's a thicker one, and the bathroom. I'm going to draw my little extensions to make the arrow look as good as I can. And again, I there might be better other ways to do all this better than I know, but this is how I know how to do it, and of course you got to make it look better than that. Then I'll grab my circle, and I'll get off of it just a little bit, and I'll get my nice circle going over it. So you see, that's not bad, even if it's a little, little funky. Now, I want to save that, and I'll save it as uh, uh, whatever file you want to, and put it whatever file you want, label it or whatever. And uh, here's the nice thing, once you've saved it, once you've saved that picture, you you know if you've copied this now, you can uh, drop that into any folder or any PowerPoint or anything and use it to make your screenshots or print from here even. You could print from your paint program right here. I could go to print. Um, all right, I'm going to do it a couple more times just so you make sure you have it. So you're back at your kid's device or your individually workless device, and you have Vocabulary Builder off. So it looks like you can't really do this with Vocabulary Builder on. So you have to have, make sure your Vocabulary Builder is off. And uh, let's say that we want to capture the screenshot for the word, oh, I don't know, I want to do the word hungry. So again, when I touch the apple to, get the, to draw the line, I can't do that because this one disappears, or the apple disappears. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the apple, I'm going to copy it, touch it one time, then I'm going to right click again and paste. Now I've got the ability to do what I want to do. So now I capture the screen. Once I capture the screen, I name it Hungry or whatever I want to do. I say save. Now I've saved that file. Now I right click on this spot and I say open with. And I say paint. Now that it's in paint, I switch to the line. I switch to the nice thickest size. I just know there's a thicker one in there. Uh, I wish I could get on that really thick one. I get to the thickest line. I switch the color to red. I draw my nice line between the two. I draw my arrows nice and professionally. I click on the circle. I get my circle around the E, which takes a little practice, and then I save it, print it, do what I want with it. Now remember, once I have all these saved, the nice part again is that once I have all these, if I go into any word processor, if I go to any word processor or any PowerPoint program, and I copy and paste the, these, once I have these 
copy it. I just go to them, copy and paste. Now I can shrink them or do whatever size I make, make them whatever size I want to make them, let's say at the refrigerator, you open the refrigerator door and I have a little card on the milk and the juice and the eggs and I have all those screenshots captured. Now I can model by touching them, showing the, the visual representation of the, the actual motor plan uh, for that image. Same thing's true for, you know, if you think about bathroom. Um, putting that picture, that screenshot on the bathroom doors so all the kids can touch it and model where the word bathroom is. All right, I hope this makes sense. Again, the trick is you have to right click, copy, whoops, <laughs> right click, co copy, touch it, paste it, then you got to capture the screen, then you got to name it, whatever you're naming it. Save. Now you've got this file saved. You open it with paint and draw your nice lines like we did and save it. And that's how you can capture screenshots from your kid's device and make a lot of great visual supports for the children and adults. Hope that helps. Thanks.